Hi, I'm Tim Appleton, the co-organiser of the Bird Fair, and welcome to birdfair.tv. <laughs> Having birdfair.tv for the first time is so exciting. I mean, we're going to get 25,000 people coming here over the weekend actually experiencing Bird Fair physically. But the fact that 350,000 people a month will visit the site through Digital Spring, um, through the sponsorship as well, which is so important through Viking Optics, you know, it's going to bring this audience to a massive worldwide uh, perspective, and that's so exciting for us. So this is uh, where it all started in the Finch's Arms 22 years ago. Martin Davies and I sat down and uh, really r thought, here we have fantastic opportunity to create something that hasn't been done anywhere around the world. Bring birders together, have a great weekend, meet old friends, meet new ones, make new ones, um, find out about the various conservation projects around the world, and of course introduce them to the commercial side of birding, the big industry. It's a huge industry. And of course, over 22 years, it's grown out of all proportion. In this field here, in a few days' time, there'll be a massive great marquee going up. It's full of the best artists in Britain, in Europe, and they'll be displaying everything from uh, art in forms of painting, through to jewellery, to sculpture, to decoys. And in front of us, just here, will be the Bird Fair mural. This is marquee three, huge marquee again, 50 foot wide, uh, 200 plus feet long, uh, again the Wildlife Trust, Bird Guides, uh, uh, the BTO, you know, Wild Farm Wetlands Trust, lots of the major players are in this stand, in this particular marquee, but again, you look at it now, completely empty, and uh, well, the transformation in uh, two and a half weeks time is just going to be unbelievable. So here we've got the main optics marquee, we'll uh, give you a sneak preview. Have a little peek in here and see what we can see. Um, this is one big marquee again, and because we need to keep it as steady as possible in your testing equipment, as you can see the whole thing is floored. The carpet's still yet to go down, there'll be a light plush carpet, and the transformation is probably greatest here in all of the um, m major sort of exhibitor marquees, because this is where serious money is uh, spent on creating you know, the best stands, and they are really very, very professional. So it's very exciting to see this go up. And they'll start building on the Monday before Bird Fair. So, you know, the contractors will come in and they'll be here two, three days building the most fabulous stands. And we look forward to showing those, uh, you know, a bit later on in a couple of weeks' time. So this is uh, this year's programme. Obviously, the, the uh, site next exhibitor plan. Um, and of course where everyone is located, whether it's travel, tourism, charities, organisations, uh, clothing, bird information, bird guides there you'll see, bird food, uh, bird sounds, booksellers, art and photography. It's available um, at the desks uh, as you arrive. Yeah, some people call it the bird watching Glastonbury. I think we had a couple of years where it was really wet and muddy, and uh, perhaps it did look a little bit like Glastonbury then. But uh, and of course, we don't have the noisy rock bands either. The change that's going to happen in the next two and a half weeks is just unbelievable. For a start, there'll be more marquees, but in actually two and a half weeks' time, there will be hundreds and hundreds of people. They'll all be lined up, looking out here, looking at the different birds, testing the binoculars, testing the telescopes. Um, some of the vegetation will be a bit lower. Uh, there'll be migrating birds going overhead, maybe ospreys up, up on the hillside there, red kites, buzzards, marsh harriers. It's a peak time for migration.